हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द इन न्यू सीरीज ऑफ दृष्टि आई एस आई एम ऋतु एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ जी एस थ्री विच इज डी फेक टेक्नोलॉजी एंड हाउ इट हैज बिन मिस यूज सो यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट ए आई विच इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस हैज बोथ पॉजिटिव एंड निगेटिव इम्पैक्ट वाइल वी आर स्टिल इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिस्कवरिंग द पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द ए आई बट वी कुड नॉट इग्नोर द डार्क साइड ऑफ द ए आई दैट्स वाई दिस क्लास हैज बिन शेड्यूल so moving to the points of discussion part so first of all we are going to discuss the news and then we are going to discuss that what are deep fakes it means we are going to discuss the introduction about the deep fakes and then how they are made and which is the process of the deep fakes and then we are going to discuss that what are the deep fakes used for so in this we are going to study the uses and then is deep fakes used only to create videos and then who is making deep fake videos and practice question for prelims and mains so moving to the news part so recently we have seen a viral video of rashmika mandana who is an indian actress in which she was entering an elevator apart from all these videos so many fellow actors had raised a question and concern on these kind of the issues and they had also asked the government of india to look into all these matters because they are the ultimate sufferers of all these things so Uh, this is also an example of deep fake technology and how it has been misused for the bollywood actresses and especially the women actresses so that's why we are discussing today's topic moving to the next slide next slide is about that what are the deep fakes so uh, in general you can say that it is a shop uh, photoshop tools for any kind of uh, 21st century so maybe it can be a 21st century photoshopping tools and it is not just limited to the videos it uh, can be also used for the various images and there can be various images which can be altered through these kind of the technology and uh, according to the tech target uh, what happened rashmika mandana video that there is a british indian woman whose name is zara patel so her image has been swapped with the rashmika mandana and uh, this is not just limited to the uh, duplicate videos or uh, creation of the duplicate videos it is also used for the creation of the original content so this is also a huge concern for us that you know with the help of such technology we are making original contents and so we will not have a full trust on any video that whether this video is right or whether this video is wrong or it is digitally manipulated or not so this is the brief example of the deep fakes moving to the next slide next slide is about it how they are made so the first example of the deep fake video can be noticed in the 2017s which has been made by the reddit in which what happened we have seen that various celebrities images has been used to make the porn clips such as the gal godet taylor swift so their images has been used to make the porn clips so first it has been evidence in 2017 after that it has become very frequent and what happened that there is a deep ai algorithm has been used to make such kind of the videos and the images so here there are the two process the first process is the encoder and the second process is the decoder so what happened that encoder encodes different kind of the similar images and it extracts similarities between two photos or two videos and what decoder does that decoder reconstruct all kind of the similarities and it swap the for the original context so this is the process that in with the help of all these processes this deep fake videos has been made so moving to the next slide next slide is about uh, what are deep fakes used for so um, majorly this is used for the uh, making of the pornographic videos but right now we have seen that this has been used in the various diverse areas such in the politics also because then when there was an election coming to any country various artificial contents and digitally manipulated contents we can see on the social media and it has been used as a weapon against the opponents in any political arena in which it has been shown that you know that opposition political party is making some claims about the election so this can be also used to uh, what you can say uh, make uh, create illusion among the citizens of any country and uh, among the citizens of any innocent masses so this has been widely used in the political arena also and we have few examples we have one example of barack obama in which uh, with the help of deep fake technology it has said that barack obama had said that uh, and he had called donald trump as a deep shit on the other hand we have another evidence of mark zuckerberg in which 
he is claiming that he has a full control on the stolen data of millions and billions of the people. So, these are the examples of the deep fake technology and how it has been misused for the political arena, for the pornography and era. So, this is the misuse of the deep fake technology. So, moving to the next slide. Next slide is about that is deep fake used only for the videos. So, this is not just limited to the videos or pornographic content I had already discussed. It is also used to make different kind of the images. And right now, we have a different kind of tendency. We can see that fake profiles have been made because of this deep fake technology. And we have few evidences of fake profile. We have one is Maze Kinsley, who was an existent Bloomberg journalist, but he was non existent in nature. It means that we don't have any person whose name is Maze Kinsley. So, this is non existent Bloomberg journalist. And we have a similar kind of another fake profile whose name is Katie Jones. And uh, uh, Katie Jones has claimed that he is working at the Center for Strategic and International Studies. So, in the name of all these fake profile content, so many people are influenced by, because of them and they are asking money because, from their profile. They are influencing many people from their profile. So, in that way, they are also negatively impact the minds of the youngsters and especially the especially the unadulterated population and especially the innocent masses who don't know the misuse of the AI. So, moving to the next slide. Next slide is about who is making deep fake videos. So, this is not just limited to the pornographic industries. So many academicians, so many industrial researchers, so many amateur enthusiasts are also using the deep fake videos and they are making original content from the, with the help of these kind of the technology. So, in that way, this is not just limited to one arena. It has been widely used for various sectors and it is various, uh, it is a huge concern for ourselves, for the innocent minds, for, especially for the youngsters who are manipulated in the name of this fake profiles, in the name of this fake videos. So, moving to the next slide. Next slide is about question. So, uh, this is very simple question. So, this question is related to the AI because our total discussion is based on the AI. So, the question is, who is known as the inventor of artificial intelligence? And your options are Charles Babbage, John McCarthy, and C is Alan Turing, and D is Andrew and NJ. So, you have to answer this in the comment section. Coming to the mains part, so this is going to be helpful for your mains examination because our main concern is to focus on deep fake technology. And what are the uses and misuse of this AI technology? So, artificial intelligence is turning out to be a double A sword and a lies. So, here they are asking that how it is turning out to be a double A sword. So, first what you have to give? You have to give a brief intro of AI. And so, in this thing, you have to write that who has invented if And even if you don't know that who has invented AI, then you can simply write about that what is AI and how it is widely used in, in our society and how it has been widely used for the various sectors. So, first you have to write the uses. It means that you have to focus on the positive side of the AI. So, the first positive side we can see in the field of agriculture. Because various crop censoring AI has been used to know about the conditions of the crops. And then it can be also used in the name of the uh, natural disasters, earthquakes, landslides, floods. So, various AI has been used to detect the tectonic plates that how they are moving and they are also giving the alarms that is in this area the disaster is about to come. So, with the help of AI we can reduce such kind of the incidents and uh, so here we have this agriculture, a uh, natural disaster and then coming to the healthcare. So, uh, recently the world has seen the pandemic and in the COVID time we have seen that you cannot have human to human touch because of the infectious disease. So, in that area, the AI has worked variously and in a various sector it had worked that it had detected the that in which manner the infection is uh, polluting anyone's body or it is infecting anyone's body. So, it is widely used in healthcare also. So, coming to that, what are the disadvantages and how it is becoming the double A sword? So, you have to write the misuse of the AI. So, recently we have seen that, you know, so many people have elect to the government of India that their Aadhaar uh, data has been stolen. So, in that way, we don't know that uh, whether their Aadhaar data has been stolen or not. But, 
uh, if there is a such kind of the rumors in which uh, ai has a biggest role to play such kind of the rumors similarly it can be also used to make a uh, stereotype against any person suppose that barack obama has not uh, spoken anything about donald trump just like the word of dip shit but with the help of deep fake technology they have created this kind of the video and it has widely circulated it means that they have ruptured the image of barack obama similarly in india also so many politician didn't say anything about any other political parties or any other political leader but with the help of these kind of ai technology they are misusing such kind of the things recently we have a youtuber case a kullar pizza wala case in which the kullar pizza wala has said that you know with the help of ai their privacy has been compromised and their wives images has been used uh, in a very different manner that was in very uncompromising situation so in that way it is also breaching the privacy of the persons and privacy of the common masses so these are the misuses of the ai so in that way you can conclude that you know ai is good for the personal use and ai is good for the public use also and it is you know advancing our economies it is advancing india digitally and it is advancing all over the world very digitally but it should be used very cautiously without caution it can be very dangerous for us so i hope you like this lecture if you have any questions related to this lecture kindly ask in the comment section thank you